it is my prayer and hope that this video is going to find you when you're doing fine and in good health. I'm also doing fine at this peripheral end. So let me know where you're watching this video. To the Republic, United States, in Africa, Jamaica, and whichever state you are in. Or into Europe or South America. In the Middle East, I'm doing fine, as you can see. So guys, I want to talk about a particular kind of issue that's going forward. From my previous video, I told people that people are activating the feminine card and feminine activism that will not help about this issue. I want to address myself unto that. And today, Pasi was live. I went to that live and asked a pertinent question that majority of people don't want to ask. And I will tell you the reasons why they don't want to ask that kind of a question. Because people are not bothered. There is a reason why. Hidden card that people are not. So if you want to get to know the kind of a question, the reasons why people are mute, don't want to ask Pasi the question. And there is the reasons why they are activating the activism gender-based. Then I recommend this video for you because there are hidden things that you don't understand. Other people have been trapped and other people are accepting the bait. Then they don't know what it's within the past. Guys, if you're coming across this channel for the very first time, kindly take a second or two. Click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, YouTube shall notify instantly. My loyal subscriber, may God bless you abundantly. So let's dive in straight away. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sina Zak and this is my YouTube channel. The question is, Zak, why are you supporting the BS and the behavior unwantonly, so to be speaking, from Mr. Cecil or from the trench boy town or grandpa? My answer is, I'm not supporting such kind of an act. Then, why are you reasoning suggestively pro Jamaican, not pro, pro trench town grandpa? Because my reasoning is per the law. When it comes to the face of morality and the face of the criminal culpability, and when I'm conflicted in between, because I said, in the face of morality, I lack the moral standard. I lack the moral spirited ground. Therefore, I cannot be catapulted to cast a stone on a morality that even me, myself, I'm having issues with, which means I'm limited when it comes to that phase of morality itself. I've fallen short of the glory that only God himself can judge me. Issues love, issues relationship itself. Sometimes they say love is blind. That's a literature as well. You can record any kind of information you want from there, if you want it. Therefore, when I'm conflicted in the issue of, immoral, of morality and the law, I look at the two scriptures. Number one, the Bible, to get the, uh, the spiritual backing. And I look at the scripture, the governing document. That's the constitution, what the law says, to also get the legal document. Being that we are living on the land, give Caesars what is Caesars and give God what is God. The morality, I give it to God. Therefore, on the face of human being, on this earth, at this Christian dome, I can never cascade or cast a stone of the issue of morality. Yet, I'm limited. Yes, that's that of, that kind of morality. I'm less of it. I left it to God. And I left it to the family people to decide. Therefore, the only choice I was left with is the legal standpoint of view. I went to the law and read and this law also cures the morality part of it. And I will explain the morality part of it. I look at the law pertaining the release of the clips and recording things. I look at the law pertaining the people who are in the relationship. Therefore, I never seen anywhere 
Somebody was forced to do whatever they did. They did it candidly, expressing their self in that kind of love issues. What came in between them is was people, two people were jilted. Therefore, one decided to go a whole and reveal the privacy of each other. Then I found the law that was supposed to cure that. And that one is the Article 31 of the Kenya Constitution. And what does that article say? The article says, under the Kenyan Constitution, and Article 31 of Kenya Constitution, or the, the laws of Kenya, you're not supposed to record, intercept, circulate, publicize, are you there? Share any confidential information seeking recordings without a consent. So whom are you supposed to get a consent? The owner. Whom are you supposed to get a consent? The government agency. If they give you, go ahead. There are, it means such kind of recordings must be processed and publicized by the government authority if your life is in danger. If you dare go and sue. Or if somebody is under oath to produce them to the public. And you're given to go ahead under the government directives. What was the reasons why that law emanates? The law was to cure the dignity, to protect your image and reputation, such that if you're having children outside there, they don't have to entangle with all your obscenity. Because when you're doing all these kind of obscene things, you're two of you who agreed to send all your obscene photos each other. Therefore, the third party could never be inclusive. Your family should never be dragged into it. It's your own issue. There are two consenting individuals. People who are saying that TTG is 72, the lady passes 28, is a grandpa. My friend, let me tell you, this is a focal point of view and it's a fact. However much that is 72, however much this lady is 28, is not the grandpa. So stop. Cecil cannot get entangled with the, the, grand, the grandchild. There's no biological connection. How many people even in the US are being married when they are at age 28 and with age 72? There's no issue. The legal age of consent, that is it. You can consent to anything, even to an ancestor. It doesn't matter. So long as you people agree, so long as you are not moving with a person of insane mind, no coercion. Was there any question? There wasn't. Because if both of you send your pictures, which means you did it willingly, nobody was forcing you. It doesn't matter. Therefore, evoking the gender card, evoking the status, doesn't warrant any kind of argument, doesn't warrant all these publications to be in public. You are in contravenous of Article 31 of the Kenyan laws. It doesn't matter. The issue of morality, I'm falling short of it, therefore I don't want to discuss. Whether you tell me, but Cecil is married, I know he is married. That is the issue that God should deal with. The issue that the family and the wife should deal with. It's not me. I'm just discussing the law. Perhaps, let's see the video of Percy, because today she was alive, I went to that life and I asked pertinent questions that the majority of people never want to ask. Yes guys, thank you for your love and support that you are supporting me. Actually, we are going to finish the roof. We are going to finish to put the timber in the house. So that now we can paint uh, the black oil. So we can finish, guys. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Uh, supporting me that condition. Yeah, thank you so much for that support, guys, my good people. Is that Tunda is here? Hello, Pasi. Tracing Tembezi, hello, Sak. Sylvia, William Tumia Sisi, Apana, 
No. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone in the chat. Thank you, my good people, for supporting party. God bless you. Support Vieco, subscribe, subscribe to Vieco Real. Zach, do you have evidence? Hello, Turbo, Vanil, Turbo, hello. A perchance visiting that chat and asks question. Question number one that asks Pasi Pasi. Do you ever at one point send your obscene photo or video to Trench Town Grandpa? He read, she read the message and he said, Zach, no, no, no. She denied. There is somebody down there on the chat called I am Irene. Ask me a question, Zach, do you have the evidence? This was my response. I have nothing. I only want her to confirm or deny, of which she's denied that she doesn't have. This is the fifth time that she's denying no photo. The, four, the countless number of interviews that has been done fourth time, Gitu asked him, not even Gitu, he was live. M. Carol asked her, do you have any photo of Trench Town Grandpa? She said no. Can you Klaus ask the same? She said no. Gitu asked in the interview. She said no. Mugesi also asked them in the interview. She denied and even called the Mugesis to be liars. Those are the videos that the whole watch, this nice kind of photo. Is Ernest at one point, the first one, asked about the obscene photos, she said there's nothing like that. There's no photo in her phone. Today I've asked, he said, she's having photos of Cecil, obscene, naked, and she never sent her photo to Mr. Cecil. I don't know whether the truth, because I just wanted, it's good to come on record, and it's good to clear your name. The question that I want to ask again, and Pasi, I need you to come clean. And this one, I'm directing this question to you. Come once again in your own life, or in your own video, or call whoever wants to do interview with you, hmm? to put the record straight. Because it's going to embarrass you. Did you or did you not send your obscene photo to Mr. Sassel? If yes, were you coerced or you are not coerced? If yes, what was the purpose of you sending such kind of photo to Mr. Sassel? If no, tell us the reasons why you refused sending your photos. And tell us the reasons why you are holding Sassel's private photo on your phone and why you are releasing them. Simple as such, because majority of people are cast castigating Mr. Sassel. People are saying that Mr. Sassel was recorded and was trapped. Yes, I'm telling you these people were in a relationship. Both of them sent their photos. If you see Mr. Sassel does, doesn't want to talk, if silence is something to mean someone is guilty, therefore there is no offense Mr. Sassel is guilty of. Mr. Cecil is just observing the law. Mr. Cecil is protecting Pasi because if at all he decides to release all such kind of obscene video, which I think she's uh, is having or not, I think, because there is no reason I send you my photos when I'm naked if you hadn't sent me yours. And in fact, how it happens, it's like the lady will then send your, his as fast then I will send mine. That is it. That is it. 
There's a notion. I'm talking about there. The probability of it. So let per se come out without any kind of prejudice, without any kind of question, without any kind of a doubt to clear the statement that you never sent any photo or any video to Sasa. Then you tell us why you decided to come out with a video that you guys recorded secretly, now you put in public. And that wasn't the bone of contention. Those are the two questions that I need you to come and ask and respond to. Because it's going to take a different dimension. Guys, sometimes people might appear on this camera so emotionally, whooping emotion, act so saint, that there's nothing about them. But I tell you, believe me, if you go and scrutinize, or if you go and do particular kind of investigation, then you'll have other things about them. Then you'll say, oh, this is the trajectory. The law doesn't know the status. The law doesn't maintain the status quo. The law doesn't know poverty. The law treats all those and treats people equal. That's why if you go to jail today, you'll find the law and the mighty and the middle class. That's why the law is a double sword. So this issue of playing the gender card and uh, telling everything that people are just activated the gender card just to blackmail. The reasons why people don't want to ask Pasi this question because they want to bring a window. They want to create a vacuum so that Mr. Cecil is being blackmailed. And they want Mr. Cecil out of YouTube that if Mr. Cecil will appear any live and they are threatening, they will release the naked videos of Mr. Cecil. They are now controlling Mr. Cecil. What if one day Mr. Cecil will come and do the same? And I'm very sure if Mr. Cecil is having something, and he, let's say he was the first one to tell and to reveal the obscene photo of Mr. Cecil, of, 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 of Pasi, if at all he's having anything, what would it be? The same female who are activating the feminine activism will say the same, obey the human dignity, obey the woman. You cannot question the woman as per the notion of Sony adventure. Let me hear your comment, your thoughts on the comment section and what is your take on this issue altogether. Until next time, this is Genia.